So in this video, we are going to talk about sets in C Sharp, how we can create sets and what all operations are uh, available in C Sharp. Uh, hey everyone. So in this video, we are going to talk about uh, hash set, uh, which is another collection as part of the collection uh, library in C Sharp. So we'll see how we can define a hash set in C Sharp and also what all operations are available as part of this class, right? Uh, so hash set is also a collection and it's used to uh, again represent a set of values which are unique. OK, so that's that's the uh, first uh, premise, right? If you want to store uh, unique uh, elements in in a collection, hash set is you know, one of the options that's available in C Sharp. OK. Let's uh, start with creating a hash set. So let's say I'll create a hash set of integers. I'll call it as uh, let's call it as numbers. We can use the add operator to add values to this hash set. And let's add for uh, and let's let's add a duplicate value as well uh, and we'll see if we add duplicate values to an hash set what happens okay so because a set is actually used to store unique values so we'll see if we try to add a duplicate value uh, do we get a exception or you know is how how does the hash set collection uh, works in this case so i'll press f5 and run this application OK, uh, so it tried to add one, two, three, four and one again. And let's see. Uh, so we have four elements in this asset and it, it has just kept this addition of one, right? So if you try to add duplicate elements in an asset, it's just going to uh, skip that and not add that uh, value again in that asset. OK, so we have uh, only four elements in a asset. All right, so that's one of the operators that are available. Uh, so the second thing, let's create another uh, set. So call this, let's call this as numbers. Okay. In numbers one dot and numbers. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say numbers dot union union with numbers one what this is going to do is it's going to do a union of all of these uh, all these two sets and then the union is going to all the union of all the numbers which are present in both these sets uh, would be added to this numbers uh, set okay and so the union operator in set theory what it does is it, it's just going to uh, you know add all the unique values to this particular set so in this case, we had like four uh, items in this particular array and then we had one, two, three, four, five, uh, six in this case, but there are two which are common, right? So one and two are common in both these sets. So that would not be added again. OK, so now let's run this application again. Now, if I check numbers, now the count is eight. So we have one, two, three, four from the first set. And then we have 11, 12, 13, 14 from the second set, right? So it, it has it has not added one and two again because the original set already had those elements. Okay, so this is the union operator. It, it's called union with uh, in C sharp. So similarly, what we can also do is we can do uh, numbers dot intersect. In this case, by this time, because we have already done a union, uh, let's let's put a breakpoint here and then see what's happening. Okay, 
so now till this point numbers has eight elements and number one has uh, six elements so now the intersection of these two would actually be numbers one because we have already done a union of numbers one and number right uh, so if i press f2 so now numbers would actually become numbers one yeah one two eleven twelve thirteen fourteen okay so yeah so let's do a quick recap so we use sets has sets in c sharp to store unique uh, values uh, so in this case we were using integers so if if you add duplicate elements to an hat set it would just ignore the ones which are duplicates uh, the second operator that's uh, used with has sets is the union operator so you can use union operator to uh, to create a union of two different sets and you, you can have n number of sets I, you, I, I can do numbers one dot union with numbers uh, two and then do another union with another uh, collection right and uh, finally we can also do an intersect yeah intersect is just going to uh, get all the common elements between two sets and then store it in the parent set in this this particular case all right so that's all about uh, sets in c sharp uh, thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video